Okay, so there's a few things I want to talk about before we get started. The first thing is, my buddy Robert's helping me because I can't do it all, it's a little rough. And uh, he was available, so he came over and this guy, I know, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm saying it anyway. This guy's visited me in the hospital and the nursing home 20, at least 20 times. And, you know, I had a lot of friends and, oh, I hope you get better. And, I mean, they live like a block away. Oh, I want to come visit you. And they never came visiting. This guy came visiting. This guy's been a rock, a good friend, and I want to say thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, he asked me, he, he would ask me, hey, what's the first thing you're going to do when you come back? Uh, the other videos I edited, um, the, uh, was it the blueberry and the, and the, the mushroom cheeseburger <laughs> one? Those, uh, the mushroom cheeseburger one I did by myself uh, after I got out. And then the other ones were already pre-recorded before I went into the hospital. So I'm back now. And I told him I want to do ribs. Oh, yes. Sorry, my dog's going crazy in the background. Can't do anything about it. She wants to get all over these ribs. And she's not going to. So anyway, we're calling these out of the nursing home ribs. We're going to rock them. <laughs> Let's get them prepared. All right. So basically, when it comes to doing ribs, I don't. I I do the whole spare rib. These are spare ribs. Baby backs are like little tiny things. Okay. And then you normally will always find a flap of meat like that. Okay. On the bony side. You need to cut that off. But now we, we opened up the other package and it wasn't there, was it? No. Not no? at all. So somebody stole my flap. I'm really upset. Because <laughs> I'm not paying for bones. I'm paying for meat. So we're going to cut this off. So you cut the flap off however you want. And then, um, um, and then you can cook it up, and it's very delicious. It's very tender, uh, no bones about it. So you just slice all the way across, take this extra layer of meat off. Uh, some people square up their, their ribs. Some people take the membrane off. I don't. Personally, I never have in my entire life. It holds the ribs together better. It gets cooked off. It seems there's never really a membrane issue. But if you want, you see where the membrane's here. You can get like the handle of a, tea, of a teaspoon and get under the membrane and lift mm -hmm. it up and peel it off with a paper towel because the paper towel will grip it and pull it. We've trimmed, we've trimmed the meat off. We're going to use olive oil as our binder. Some people like to use mustard. Um, I don't care for that, the mustard taste on my ribs. Uh, they're very mild, but they're there. And... Uh, that taste is on every rib. So uh, we're going to go with the olive oil that's in the cupboard right there. Behind Robert, there should be a bottle on the second shelf there. Is there oil in there or not? There's got some oil in there. But go ahead and drizzle all over. Then we're going to spread our oil all over. And then we're going to apply, it's called Honey Hog Barbecue from Meat Church. That is what we're going to be applying. So... Just get a quick shot of him. It's beautiful. Looking good. Coming out quite nice. And once again, there's a lot of seasoning. Go heavy on the seasoning because a lot of it falls off. And you'll thank yourself later when eating. Hope, go lay down, girl. We'll let you in after we're done filming. <laughs> Alright, he'll give you an idea of how heavy he puts it on there. See, you, you bought it, you might as well use it. Absolutely. All right, and do that with um, both sides. We're doing two racks. Okay guys, we've done all the seasoning. So the next thing you're gonna do to this meat will be at 165. So we're gonna get on the smoker right now, take it to 165, then we'll wrap it with some sauce. All right guys, we're ready to wrap our ribs. They're at 165. We're putting the meaty side down onto the butter and sauce. Flip it down. Got our medium side here. Beautiful. Look at that. Woo! Take it back. 
back out and then we'll do the same thing with the other one. You want to rip the foil before or not. You don't care. Oh, it's so hot. Fresh off the grill. Just done resting. Wow. Woo! Look at the steam coming up. We should have opened it and let it Look rest. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't need the knife. Hold on a second. Woo! Wow. These are amazing. The bones even fall apart. apart. Mm -hmm. These are so good. I'll tell you, that butter is awesome on there. This could I'm be not sure could, about that. This could win a competition. Wow. You guys have a great day. Take care.